Honorable Minister, um, Honorable Omorige Ubeide Hama, I represent the people of Oredo Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Edo State. Honorable Minister, I've listened carefully to your presentation as well as contributions and questions from colleagues. I do not want to repeat what has been said earlier. However, while I agree that there are challenges because infrastructures must be put in place to be able to harness the potentials in our, in our cultural and tourism sector, I also believe that in line with what Mr. Speaker said, a lot could start in the immediate. You have talked about visa issues for foreigners willing to come into Nigeria. While addressing that, I also think it is important to also see how accommodating and encouraging government and its policies are towards the private investors. Because when you talk about tourism, culture and everything, you're looking at situations where private sectors are really willing to participate. How well are they being accommodated by government? That is the enabling environment that has been repeated here over and over again. So I want you to please either put us through your strategic plan in accommodating private sectors. Not to say private sectors will not invest where they know they will not make profit. Private sectors will invest where they know that dealing with government is comfortable enough for them without policies being changed at the middle of the game. So the security for these private investors are important. And I also find, want to say for the immediate start that does not require too much infrastructure, I'm sure you know that in our cultures, from the east to the south to the north to the west. There are handcrafts. There are different things we can do. Today, if you come down in developed countries, you see people wearing, I love New York. I love UK. I'm from Singapore. T-shirts. But we have people who can do this at the rest, diff, diff, bead attires from different parts of the country. How are we showcasing? What is your strategic plan to take this, our innovative and God-blessed uh, cultural uh, strength outside the shores? Even on aircraft, you will see that you are trying to buy, uh, do um, shopping while on board aircraft. You will see some, some traditional stuff from Trinidad and Tobago. These are our beads, everything they sell around the beach here. We can take them and show that the foreigners will be excited. So the key issue here is what is the strategic plan to embrace private sector, giving them the security that investing their money on the long term, policy changes will not affect them. Secondly, how do we drive the potentials that exist in our different cultural um, backgrounds and how do we boost them to international standards. Thank you very much.